Hello, everyone, and welcome to the 32nd WordPress installation. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to be using our post on A1 Website Pro, install WordPress shell access using wget commands in the Ubuntu terminal. Okay, so the first thing that you'll want to do is log into your shell. Okay, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Next thing you'll do is you'll scroll down here and we have some commands that you can use. The commands on the site will work. I'm going to use different commands just because I'm used to doing it. So in the video, you're going to, you're going to get one version on how to do it. And then on the site, you can copy these commands to use these particular uh, methods. All right. So without further ado, we're going to get started. We're going to install a WordPress on this particular site right now. Now, if you go down to your Mac terminal, I can just go ahead and clear everything out here for you. And you have to have a shell set up. So make sure that you do that. So what we'll do, uh, I already have a shell set up on the uh, server. I'm going to go ahead and log in. All right. So I'm going to navigate to my web folder. All right. Yours might be a little bit different. If you're on cPanel or another one, it might be a little different. I'm going to clear this out. Type ls and I could see my different uh, folders and files in there. I'm going to type wget https uh, colon slash slash wordpress.org slash latest dot zip. Okay, then I'm going to unzip latest dot zip just like that. I'm going to, and if you if, if I go ls, you could see I have a WordPress folder there. So I just want to move all the contents in that folder to my main uh, root file. So I'm just going to type move WordPress slash all and then period slash. And that moves all of my files right there. Now you can see all the WordPress files. The next thing I'm going to do is remove the index all index HTML file. So I don't need that. And whenever I hit refresh, I should see an installation. And there we go. So basically, continue. And now I got to put in my database information. All right. Now I'm going to pause the video while I put in this information because it's private information. We don't want to share that with people. Okay, now that you have all your information, you will hit submit. Run the installation. Site title. And we'll put in a username and password. Or we could just copy this password for now. Change it here. And my email. And click install WordPress. Okay. And so if we click back to Maximus Mabella, we can see, voila. I have a WordPress installation, less than 30 seconds. Next thing that I'm going to do is log in and change my password. But uh, that's it. You have WordPress there, and you're ready to rock and roll the new website. This is Max with A1 Website Pro. I hope this tutorial has been beneficial to you. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.